So I ended up picking up the Futaba 4 p.m. Mostly because uh, I had nothing nothing wrong with the Spectrum DX5C. Uh, I needed some more receivers for other cars that I had, and because I, I wanted everything on the on one remote. But then I was wanting to upgrade because I know a couple of people that have this remote, and I was just eh, you know teeter tottering in between receivers and remotes. So hobby stores having a sale on the Futaba, I ended up picking it up. And then it was funny because like a week later, the receivers were on sale at, at the hobby store because uh, Horizon Hobby is having like this big sale. Meanwhile, it was the six channels, but they were just as cheap as like the four channels. So, um, and they had the AVC if you wanted it. But other than that, I just obviously it was too late to get those. So now I have the buggy and truggy on the Futaba. Everything else is now going to be on my DX5C. And just the difference in between the two already, because I haven't even used the the new one yet. I've just set it all up in the cars, just the uh, endpoints and stuff like that. I still got to go out and set the steering and uh, everything else with it, basically. But uh, just wanted to, you know, while it still looked brand new, I guess. That's the one thing I kind of hated about this is like... Not, not even hate about the remote. It's just running at that dusty track. You just see all the dust and dirt that get inside of everything. The wheel there. I mean, I can blow it off, but then it's just all going to get stuck inside the remote. So, and then even down here, the base the GoPro mount. That's basically where I film most of my stuff when I'm at the track. I don't know what I'm going to do now with this. We'll see how it goes, but maybe I'll stick a GoPro mount on there as well. But nothing wrong with DX5C. Because uh, now I'm going to be running every other car basically off 2 HPI WR8s, Granite, uh, HPI Sport 3, uh, or sorry, that's the Granite, that's the Sentin, uh, the TRX4, the Drift Car, uh, Yokomo Drift Car, and the Typhon that I have will all be off the Spectrum, and then the two Technos are going to be on the Futaba, so... Uh, one other thing I did like too about this, just even right off the bat, uh, I like how it has buttons. Like even this little joystick thing is nice. Every time I select side, sideways, down, up, down, works every single time. Um, pretty easy to navigate. Even when you open up something, it's pretty self-explanatory. The back buttons, the plus, the minus, very simple. Uh, like the power button up here, because with the Spectrum DX5C, this little side power button, not only would it get stuck and sticky because like all the dust and crap that got in there um if you left it in the car and then something like rolled touched this power button it would just turn on so i ended up buying the case which spectrum case it fixed the pro as well in there as you can see the pro with the drop wheel will actually fit in there and it's in there perfect so the case does nothing happens but then i just figured um since this is now the other remote, and this remote cost more, <laughs> figured I cut out a little section right here in the middle for the bottom of the uh, remote to go in. And there you go. Fits in there nice and perfect. No problems with it. So even when I'm at the track now with the dusty track, I'm going to try and after I run the car, let's say I'm changing the batteries on the car or whatever, or we're just standing there talking. I'm just going to throw the remote in here, keep it as clean as possible, and yeah, I actually like, really like the feel of this remote actually better than the Spectrum, the trigger feels better, uh, trigger's adjustable, steering wheel tension's adjustable, all this other stuff, which is nice, um, compared to like for the price, it's not too bad of a price difference even between them, because then you also have to think... This one comes with the receiver. This one you can get with the receiver, but you can also just buy it by itself, which makes it cheaper as well. So, um, yeah, can't wait to go out and use it. Like I said, I just set up the steering, and that's about it. So, still got to go out and play around with the settings on the remote in the car. Um, I also did end up getting my truggy tires in. So, I have the Posse to her track C2 for the truggy, and... That's what all of those are in there. There's six of these, so I have three no, three sets of tires, six pairs. And yeah, so we're good on Truggy tires now. 
buggy. I do have a set of buggy posse tires as well. And then last year when I did run, I had two sets, white and yellow. Last year, the one came totally unglued. I mean, the tire is basically halfway worn out or maybe a bit more there in the center. But we'll have to re-glue that. The foam's right there. Uh, may have to start looking for uh, buggy tires soon because they usually do run the buggy more than truggy because last year I only had a couple sets of tires throughout the whole year. Uh, now I'm, I'm good for a bit, that's for sure. Uh, we'll see how long those last. But yeah, probably go out tomorrow, end up using the, uh, the remote, see how it is. Uh, maybe I'll throw in some running footage after this, or maybe I'll just make that another video. But if not, thanks for watching.